G'day folks, this evening the hunt for the elusive 30 centimetre blackfish continues. Right now I'm in a different stream than the one I've been fishing lately. I'm trying a different spot in the hope that I can find some larger fish. I'm wearing the same flannelette shirt that I almost burnt to the ground with my O-Light in the last video. I've got that same O-Light baton too with me today, but I'm not going to be using in my uh, flannelette shirt to dull the light because that, that ended in tears. Actually, I don't even think this has been washed since that video. It's just been rolling around the floor of the car. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, I've got one rod with a, uh, with a Jan Juck worm and I'm just going to throw it out there and just wait with bated breath as the sun sets and hopefully the blackfish get active. Right, I've got the same Pat Noster rig on that I had in my last blackfish video. Now I'll throw this out there. Just lately I've had a few people talking about the quality of this camera right on dark. It's not the GoPro Hero 9. There is certainly a problem and I know what it is, but it's not the camera. It's the polarizer filter. My polarizer filter on my GoPro Hero 9 acts the same as uh, polarizer sunglasses. And this time of night we take our sunglasses off because it's too bright, it's too dark. And we need to be able to see better. With the GoPro it's quite fiddly to take the polarizer filter on and off. You can do it, but you don't want to be doing it all the time. What I probably should start doing is uh, bringing my old faithful GoPro Hero 7 for these blackfish videos and just using this one during the daytime I think. That way I can have the best of both worlds. I've just got to remember to do it. So folks, if it looks like it's having focusing issues or the light's flashing a little bit, it's because it's just being tricked by the, uh, the darkness of the polarizer filter. The GoPro itself is working fine, but the filter does hinder quality in low light. My rod just had like an epic movement. You know, I can't see any movement in the line. I don't know if it had a bite or whether it was just maybe leaning on something and it's just fallen or for whatever reason something moved. There's no fish there. <laughs> My worms don't look touched. There you go, just had a, just had a bite. Still playing, there he goes. I'm getting a nibble. It's got to be a blackfish. I'm going to hold me rod because I can barely see the line. You're playing with it. Got him. I'm on. My first blackie for the night. He's uh, very dark. He's nowhere near 23, so nowhere near 30 centimetres. He would be lucky to be. Uh, 20 centimetres, but I'll get a photo. Right, a little lip hooked blackfish. Say hello, mate. I wonder if I should put a fresh Jan Juck worm on. He hasn't touched, no, I'll leave that one on. I don't reckon they really, they're too fussed, the old blackfish. Well, that's good. I'm on the board. I'm on the board, and there's still a little bit of light. It's always good if you can get one or two before it starts getting too dark. Oh, bite straight away. As soon as I put it in, the moment that hit the bottom, it had a bite. Just swimming with it. Got him. Here's a bigger one. Oh, he's just a 30 centimetre blackie. Oh, look at the size of this blackfish. This is huge. This is a huge blackfish. This is going to be close to 30. This, I reckon this is going to be 30. This is going to be a 30 centimetre blackfish. I reckon I've got myself a 30 centimetre blackfish here, folks. I reckon I've just caught myself a 30 centimetre blackfish. That is absolutely beautiful. I'll get a measure in a second, but I want to get a quick photo first. And now while he's laying there nice and still, let's get a measure. Oh, he's got to be 30. 31. A 31 centimetre blackfish. Woohoo! I don't, I'll get the hook out. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the, uh, the camera light is going to be like at the moment. But, folks, I'm going to break the line. Oh, how's the camera? How's the, how does it look on camera? Hang on, I've got to take my camera for a tick. It's very dark. 
But folks, I have just caught a 31 centimetre freshwater blackfish. And folks, I've got some exciting news and it might offend some people, but some will be impressed. We've got a catch and cook blackfish video coming right up. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not gonna keep any more, I just wanna keep one. In the name of science, let's film a catch and cook blackfish video with this 31 centimetre blackfish. Now I'm gonna keep fishing. If I catch one that's 50 centimetres long, I'll throw it back. I just want one for the video. The rest can go back. I am excited, you little ripper. Right now, I've got another worm on. I'm gonna put it straight back in. Well, I sat here for about 20 minutes without a touch, and then I caught two in the space of about two minutes. That was really cool. Now I better get my O-light ready, because if I catch another one, you ain't gonna see Jack Shizen. Got the O-light baton too. The fire starter O-light, I'll put that in the top pocket of my charred flannelette shirt. See if I can catch a bigger blackfish. That 31 centimetre blackfish fought quite well for its size. I'd love to tangle with one of those really big ones that they get down on the other side of the Great Dividing Range. I reckon that'd be great fun. Now, the size limit on blackfish is 30 centimetres, the minimum size limit. And that was 31, so it's legal. I think the bag limit is two, but I'm not too fussed because I'm only keeping one. I've eaten them in the past, years ago, and I'm keen to show you all what they look like and what they taste like. But I'm not keen to keep my bag limit and take too many, so I'm happy just to take one. So I'd love to catch a bigger one now, and if I do, I'll be putting it back. Here we go, getting a bite. Getting a bite. Got him. He's not as big as the 31, but he's bigger than the first one. Gee whiz, he's got to be up around the 25 mark, I reckon. I'll get a picky of him too. Blackfish, number three. See you later, mate. Having a blast. Having a blast. I hope these photos are turning out. They're hard fish to photograph the blackfish because they curl up and they wiggle and they, uh, they don't sit still and they don't lay flat. Ha! Huh. They're a lot darker here than what they are in the other creek that I've been fishing and I suspect that's because the water is so much clearer here. Right, better chuck another worm on and get it back in. Now you can't see what I'm doing here, so I'll have to I'll tell you because it's nearly dark. I'm putting my line back in. Now, the hunt for a 30 centimetre blackfish didn't last long. I caught one quicker than I thought I would. I guess now that the hunt changes and it becomes uh, the hunt for a 35 centimetre blackfish. That's the next goal. 35 centimetre freshwater blackfish from the northern side of the Great Dividing Range. Here we go, another bite. Another bite. He's playing with it. I feel it. Got him. Oh, it's gonna be a size about him. It might be another 30 centimeter model. I'll be throwing it back if it is. Whoa, what an absolute ripper. What an absolute beauty. Well, folks, I'll see if I can get you a bit of a glimpse of this blackfish with the torch on. I'm not sure how the camera's picking it up. There you go, folks. I hope that's in frame. <laughs> 30 centimetres. See you later, mate. 30 centimetres on the dots. I've got a 30 and a 31, around about a 25, and a little one, probably around 16 or 17. Having a blast. Well, I'll give it about 10 more minutes, and I'll pull up stumps. I don't want to leave. I'm just having too much fun. Here we go. Giving a good bite here. He's swimming with it. He's playing with it. Got him. I don't think it's as big as the 230s that I got, but he's still another... Damn good blackfish. Right. I'll uh, see if I can get you a look. There you go, folks. Hopefully you can see that. Beautiful. See you later, mate. Now, I reckon that blackfish was around about probably 25 centimetres. Certainly getting some good sizes of blackfish in this pool, that's for sure. And having a lot of fun doing it. Trying to work out how I'm going to do this without making the video too long. What I think I'll do is I'll make a blackfish fishing video and include all of these fish that I've caught in all of these scenes and then I'll make a blackfish catch and cook where I'll reuse that one scene where I caught the biggest blackfish and then the rest of it will be a cooking video. I think that'll probably be the best way to do it. I just had a nibble. I've been holding my... got him. 
Oh, he got off. I hooked him and he got off. I might pack up and go home now, I think, anyway. I was just contemplating going home just before he bit. I was going to say, it's gotten a bit quiet. I had a, uh, about half an hour of just epic biting before. Then they slowed down, but it's gotten that dark I can't see, so I'm holding my rod, feeling for nibbles. I reckon if I put my line back in, he'd come back that fish. But anyway, there's no need to catch them all. I've just had a fantastic time. I know I use this word a lot on this channel, but I have absolutely hit the blackfish jackpot tonight. Honey. This is the blackfish jackpot. I've had so much fun. Stay tuned for my catch and cook blackfish video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one scene from this video, the scene where I catch the biggest one, or the one that I kept, and I'm going to use that in the catch and cook video. Stay tuned for that. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked my blackfish jackpot video. If you have one, give me a big fat thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.